Hi, I'm Jason Wagenspach. I'm the Head of Possibilities at the Ranch Film Studios. And this is the Imagination Station. This is formerly uh, Save a Center Grocery Store, a 62,000 square foot building built before Katrina, washed out because of Katrina, sat around vacant as a former blighted big box store for several years until I actually came in and picked up the property next door, now called the Amazement Center, formerly of Lowe's, and brought it into what it is now today as the Ranch Film Studios. So when I actually picked up this building, the first time I actually came out here, we had a falling facade you had a shell of a building which was basically all cinder block and um, metal framing inside. Big concrete gaping holes in the ground where all the refrigerator units were sitting. So what we did is we came in, we leveled out the floor, we pulled all the framing out of this building and just made it one big open box. And our first client that we had here was Deepwater Horizon. They ended up building 10 interior sets of the Deepwater Horizon. The command center, uh, the helicopter sub, the shells, all kinds of interesting pieces were all done inside of here while the parking lot was actually built the derrick of the oil rig. So when you see the massive drilling components of the middle of the oil rig were actually built right here. The mud that's bubbling up in the middle of that movie, it's about to explode, all happened right here in this lot right here, which is pretty, pretty fantastic to know that a three acre concrete lot in St. Bernard, Louisiana is where they shot a major motion picture. So it's pretty cool. So this, is the big stage. We have big and we have easy. This is a 34,000 square foot stage. This is one of the largest stages in the state of Louisiana. Um, the height is the difference that you have here. You have 28 feet raking down to 25 feet in height. So most stages are much higher at 50 feet stages. We are just wider. We have a much wider berth here as a stage. Uh, but if you can imagine this was just like I said, one big shell of a building where we had to come in and reflesh out the concrete, rip out all of the former framework of all the, uh, the leftover walls that were here uh, as part of the grocery store uh, that was formerly here at Save a Center. So um, we'll walk a little bit forward. In this building, we had to come in and cut out these large doors that you see here. So we have 16 by 16 foot doors so we can roll massive trucks in with lighting equipment sets. Um, and we can actually do the majority of our work inside of one space versus being outside. So we have a, a bit more of a control of the weather in here, obviously. We built our own uh, AC system. This is a Whisper AC, AC system that we had to uh, we had to design on our own with additional what we call elbows. So the bends and the axes of the air conditioned unit actually help stop the force of the air that's coming through the unit and the compressor in the back. And we have what's called duct socks in here. These are clothed ducting so that when the air blows through there, they're not hitting aluminum and doing any rattling. It's actually just filling up one big piece of fabric with a bunch of holes in it and allows for that air to flow through here nicely. And what you see there is these other elbows that come to the bottom of them and these big white tubes that come out the top. That's for direct specific air conditioning so that we can actually build a set and put their air conditioning right inside that set so that these uh, actors can stay rather cold uh, while they're inside the space. So you wanna keep walking? So this is our, this is just a common area. So this is your loading dock, but it's the space between both of the stages here. So you have the big stage behind us here, the easy stage over there, and then right through those doors is the gold room. That's where you hide all the gold. It's actually where we um, go in and lock up all the props that are obviously very expensive. Set dressing is very expensive. Just an area that can, you can keep all the more uh, expensive and uh, lucrative items that you don't want to lose obviously on a film set. But we have four load-in docks in the back back here for all the equipment to get loaded in. And then usually the easy stage has been used as a mill. So what they'll do is they'll go in and construct all of their sets. Um, they'll do all their painting, all their welding. Everything will happen in this space and then they'll roll all of that uh, into the actual stage where they'll end up building um, their sets and uh, all the additional little swings that they need over there. In the Imagination Station, we've had several motion pictures. Before it became the Imagination Station, we had Deepwater Horizon. Um, we had uh, the first Hulu's uh, series with Sean Penn was filmed here. Uh, and then after that, we brought in uh, The Dirt, which you can see on Netflix, the Motley Crue biopic. Um, and then we did uh, TNT's Tell Me Your Secrets, which should be out this fall, 2019. Uh, and then we just recently had a movie called Lovebirds, and then hopefully uh, we'll have a, another feature film here starting here very soon. So this is the Amazement Center, and this is the parking lot where Deepwater Horizon built the plaza of the oil rig. So if you can imagine, this was a five-acre parking lot before Hollywood trucks got here. 
and they built five stack high containers in a U-shaped format all the way around this parking lot to use as a bit of a public divide, as well as for their green screens, blue screens, and black screens when they were either shooting at different times of the day. But the plaza, all the guts of the oil rig, all the massive intricacies of the explosions and things that were happening was all done right here in this parking lot. So you had Mark Wahlberg jumping from place to place to place all around here. It was a spectacular um, event that went on here. And inside this building, they were prepping for all of these sets. So they would build all the steel, all the wood, all the painting, all the props, all the electrical that went on Deepwater Horizon was all done in that one big building. This is 157,000 square feet of building that they use as basically one big mill. It was pretty impressive. And Hollywood Trucks has moved in. Uh, they've been here about a year now, so they moved their entire Louisiana operations here. So this is their truck and trailer park uh, where they store everything before it gets shipped out. So it gets here, gets clean, gets serviced, and then it moves on to the next production. So uh, they're looking to fold that into a movie that'll be starting here in the next month. Scissor stage. So this is a 30,000 square foot black box stage. The difference of this one here is the air conditioning. We utilize the permanent air conditioning that was already a part of this building. So you actually have air conditioned units throughout instead of us pumping in a whisper AC uh, from the exterior of the building. So we actually have to pump in additional AC well, just when they're filming though to allow for that quiet cooled air conditioning during the hottest of summers as you can imagine it gets you know 90 to 100 degrees inside the space of that air conditioning. Um, but this was where the command center for the television series The First that starred Sean Penn and was on Hulu for one full series. They literally took up probably 20,000 square feet of this 30,000 square feet in here and built a beautiful command center. Uh, which really was the, the bulk of their work was inside here. It was quite impressive. When we came to this property, it was again one big open building. I literally walked into this space and uh, it was 72 degrees, it was sunny, there wasn't a bug in sight, and I can eat an egg off the floor. It was a beautiful, pristine building. But we need to change space up for what we're doing in the film industry, so we needed to come in and build the walls that you see here for better soundproofing. It obviously helps for controlling an environment. So if it's raining outside or if uh, we have uh, traffic out front or if there are people running around that affects everything that we do in the film industry and so we need to have an environment where we can keep it as quiet as possible we can get out of the elements we're trying to find uh, the most controllable environment possible to allow for the most efficiency as possible when we're filmmaking because time is money in this industry and a lot of money is being spent here in this parish and so uh, you start to realize all of the things that connect to the film industry through restaurants through graphic services through the lumber through the steel it's all being bought here in this parish Parish. and we're very proud to say that we push as many of our clients that come here to as many of the local vendors that they find in and around the St. Bernard Parish uh, in and around our facility. So it's a, uh, it's a massive economic impact for St. Bernard Parish, for the state of Louisiana, and obviously uh, for the film industry in general. So you're in the mill of the Amazement Center and in here obviously uh, the same things that were happening for Deepwater Horizon and then also happen at the Imagination Stations mill is you'll end up having construction come in, do all the carpentry work, all the painting work, all the welding work. This is uh, fortunately one of the largest mills in uh, any studio in the South. This is a 42,000 square foot mill. You can actually fit two movies and use two mills inside of this space. But all of your loading trucks can actually drive right in through, through there and go into each one of the doors of the stages if necessary. So all of the, um, all of the collaboration and all of the, the uh, the nooks and crannies of each of the sets that are being built are built in here and then shipped into each one of these three stages, rock, paper, and scissors are the three stages we have here. So you have three massive stages, one massive mill. We are in uh, the paper stage and this is approximately a 29,000 square foot stage. So um, you had the first build what was called the Haggerty House. So it was an actual house a replica of a house in Algiers, Louisiana uh, was built right in this stage here and then the tattoo parlor and the second floor uh, extension was built on the other side over there. So it took up obviously a massive amount of space inside of here. The most interesting part about this was they actually did photographic inserts and built these huge flying walls of photographs that came in here so that they can replicate what it looked like if you were standing on the balcony of this apartment 
outside to the uh, point at Algiers Point. So you saw the Mississippi River and you saw the downtown New Orleans in the background of these beautiful, huge photographic elements that were spanning, you know, 25 feet here uh, on the ceiling. So I was, I was highly impressed with what they did in here. St. Bernard um, has a keen attraction to the film industry because when I was a location scout and location manager, we would come out this way and we would find a lot of country scenes and country settings as you got into Miro and you got you know, past uh, Violet and even to Poydras, Louisiana. So we used to call this place the little country outside the city. And so in general, when you have a big city next to country settings and water element, it becomes highly attractive to producers who can do many and multiple things inside of one space. They're not, you know, destined in a mountain range or set up with a desert terrain or um, uh, just city. We have a lot of elements that come into play. Um, so having a film studio right outside of New Orleans makes it, one, a little bit quieter. We're off the beaten path. Traffic is a lot less out here. You have a very friendly community outside of here. You have great food that obviously becomes uh, very handy. And then you have no red tape. St. Bernard Parish is a really film-friendly parish. So um, when we would come out here, we would enjoy making phone calls to the city, dealing with the police and the fire. They were so welcoming on whatever we were trying to do. They wanted to help as much as possible. And you don't find that everywhere. So it's very unique uh, to have that opportunity here. And so, um, like I said, we, we attract because of the demographics of the area. We attract because of the uniqueness of this community. And uh, now it's become a bit more of a mecca and we've seen over $600 million worth of movies come to this parish within the five years that I've been here. So uh, hopefully we see more and more of that for future.